Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a bit of a Copic marker and ink drawing. But before I get into that, I just want to say a little announcement. We have now got our own Discord server. And I, and I say our because it's not just mine, it's for everyone. And yeah, it was made by a good friend of mine, Geek Squeak. So if you see him on there, definitely say hi and thank him for the awesome little server that he has set up for us. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way because I've been thinking about getting one for a while now, but I was, to be honest, I was kind of scared to do it because I thought that no one would want to join. However, I was wrong. <laughs> and um, a good friend, Geek Squeak, as I mentioned, he, he kept telling me, you know, I should make a Discord server for you. So I was like, fine, you know what? Do it. And yeah, it's actually worked out really well. He he has done such a good job with it. It is amazing over there. <laughs> if you if you go and check it out, you'll know what I mean. But yeah, definitely go check that out. I will have a link in the description. So yeah, if you have Discord, definitely yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's out of the way, <laughs> I want to explain the drawing that I have. So I was thinking of ideas for this drawing here and as you can see I'm actually sketching it digitally which I've been doing lately I guess. Not sure if that's because I am running out of paper, multi-liners or both but oh well. <laughs> now the idea for this basically came from, I don't know, I just thought it would be interesting to draw a young lady who is obviously hugging a teddy bear but there's a reason behind that now she is uh, probably around teenager age and yeah she's basically giving up her toys from her childhood and she is basically it's, it's, it's sort of a symbolism of her growing into a young adult and the reason that she's hugging one of the teddies is because she wanted to keep one from her childhood and yeah no I just thought that that would be a cool uh, illustration because it kind of symbolizes like holding on to a small bit of your youth or innocence <laughs> while still acknowledging that you are growing and you're becoming an adult that kind of thing I'm not too sure what came of this. <laughs> I'm not sure why I thought of this up. I just thought, you know, it would be an interesting concept to try out. And you know me, I like to try random things. I like to, to draw random things. So yeah, as I said, I started it off digitally and I am using my iPad Pro with Procreate. And then what I did was I basically refined it really well. And then I printed it out onto some mixed media card. Now I printed it out on mixed media card because I wanted to use my Copic markers, but I also wanted to use a bit of ink, like um, the rose, if you've seen that illustration of mine. Similar technique. But yeah, basically I started off doing the skin and the hair and for this artwork, I wanted to shade it mostly with purple undertones. So I actually started them off with the shading. And I basically used bits of purple here and there for the shadows. And then I layered the colors that they were supposed to be over the top. And that was really interesting. And I've done this a lot in my art. And I don't know, I just find that it gives a, a cool effect to the shadows, I guess. Now for her skirt. She is kind of wearing a long shirt and pants and it, her shirt's kind of like a dress I guess but the bottom part is a sort of transparent type fabric, um, kind of like netting I guess. The whole shirt isn't like that, it's just the bottom part and she's basically wearing pants underneath that because obviously you don't want to yeah <laughs> and the way I got around doing that was that I used a lighter a very light pink color for the parts of the dress which would be covering her body 
and then the parts where it was just the background behind it I used a lot darker pink and I did this because I wanted it to be I don't know I wanted it to look transparent I guess but um yeah I, I think it turned out pretty cool of course I use another technique later to make it even more apparent that it's a fabric like that but I'll get into that later <laughs> Now I'm actually using a contact book covering type thing to mask this out and I tried this in a recent uh, painting mixed media drawing and yeah I don't know I, I think I am perfecting it a little bit better I would prefer if I had masking film but I didn't have a lot of money so I ended up going for that and yeah it actually works pretty well you have to make sure you push it down really well because the one I got is a bit of a cheap one because I don't know I didn't want it to be too sticky and it would ruin my drawing so yeah I just got a cheap contact film and yeah you know the, the stuff that you find for covering school books that kind of thing <laughs> yeah it's a pretty cool hack for um yeah now I put that over my uh, figure here in the foreground and then I cut around it but I made sure to leave a white outline and this is because I wanted her to pop off the background really really well and then as you saw earlier I painted that over with a bit of ink wash and then I drew over the characters the little toys behind her because they weren't I don't know after I did the ink wash they weren't very uh, apparent they were a bit washed out so yeah I went over that with my wine colored multi-liner which I actually like because it gives a tiny bit of color in the background I didn't want the background too colorful because she is really colorful and I wanted her to stand out more so yeah after I after I did that I basically put some contact film over them and cut them cut around them the similar way but I didn't leave an outline this time and then yeah I went over with my black ink and yeah it, it basically made the whole thing stand out so much better so once I added that black to the background I think that the colors pop so much more and yeah it just makes it a whole lot more interesting to look at now I really like how the toys in the background they're not to, I don't know they don't stand out too much like they are I don't know the darkness kind of does push them into the background really well because yeah as I, as I said before the story she's kind of uh, I think she's giving away her toys but like she's I don't know moving on from them but the one that she's keeping is a very bright color so yeah that's it's a bit of a cool I don't know design I decided to do and now here's the satisfying part of me peeling off that contact film to reveal the artwork underneath. And I, I don't know, I love those kinds of videos where they show the peeling, so definitely try to show that in mine. <laughs> now I'm just going over with a black multi-liner just to do little black uh, parts here and there which I missed with the ink. And yeah, as I said before, I'm going over the skirt now with some colored pencils and I basically use some like very light pinks and whites and a darkish pink color and I basically just do like a cross hatching texture. I try to make it flow with uh, the shape of the skirt. So yeah, that kind of alludes more to a netting fit like a, I don't know, I think it's called netting, I don't know, that kind of uh, textured fabric but yeah here is the final artwork and I am so happy with how it turned out and yeah make sure you go check out that discord server if you have discord <laughs> um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit like and subscribe if you haven't and yeah i will see you in my next video bye everyone <laughs>